I made a track with cinematic scenes in an hour. Here's how I did it. The rule's simple. I have an hour to make a track and you just result in the comments. Spitfire Audio gave me Mercury as well as the latest cinematic libraries. I'm gonna use them today. Can I finish the song in an hour? <laughs> Let's see. Hey composers and music producers, I'm Tatesh. It's been a while since I did the last challenge, so I'm kinda nervous, but excited. Let's go. This is Mercury by Spitfire Audio. You can lower the instrument in a plugin called Solar. Let me explore some presets to, you know, see what Mercury offers. Ms. Marvel kind of sound, you know. <laughs> By the way, this is not just a synthesizer. This is a collection of um, traditional sounds used in Hollywood. You can load the samples here. These are not oscillators or you know, recorded analog hardware oscillators. These all are real instruments or real stuff, you know. We can narrow down the selection of presets here with these categories, you know. Or tags, so like, let's see, complex. Let's tweak this sound and let's start making the track. As you can see, this is a familiar EDNA interface. So you also have effects in the second page. Gate sequencer is separated. When I use this, it has kind of futuristic feeling. This is pretty cool. Okay, so what I did is just improvise this kind of ambient thing. So let's open up another instance of solder and find something interesting. Wow, I found that it is 1.38 gigabytes of memory. It's so heavy. Oh, here you can preview the presets, which is pretty. dark, distorted effects I want. Or short would be fine. <laughs> there are a lot of presets. Introduce another synthesizer of Swift Audio, which is Polaris. This is the same EDNA interface. It has uh, recordings of analog hardware as well as strings that imitate the uh, sound of a synthesizer, which is pretty cool, like Ludovic Granson does. Pulsing, this is cool, like I need a rhythm now. This is cool, Bubbly Mess. Again, these libraries are so CPU heavy. So let's use it as a backbone, back, back. <laughs> let's use it as a backbone of this song. Tokyo Rain. Where is the filler, man? I want Lopez filler after these effects. But it seems it doesn't have something like that. And reverb. And now let's get to the next library. It's called Resonate. No, before that, Polaris is not just a synthesizer. You can switch between standard mode and synthesizer mode. Like instead of using EDN Earth engine, you can use, you know, normal sounds. So like there are some articulation. Short track. So let's use Fury Mini and oh man, the cut off frequency. see my sand reverb techniques. Are you enjoying this video so far? Please hit like and subscribe now. I upload music production content every week, so let's enjoy music together. I always like to have two to four reverb sands on a short verb and also long verb. These two tend to be like room verb, room reverb of cinematic rooms professional. And one more reverb is algorithmic reverb. Now it depends on the context, but uh, I like to start with R4. The last one is plate reverb because, you know, I like, I like the sound of vintage plate things. So I don't always use plate reverb, but you know, ambient songs or whatever, just when I need vintage vibe, well, I use this plate reverb sand. I like to have two inserts. One is 
uh, preamp and one more thing is uh, uh, reverb. Well, I don't always do it when produ when producing music. Well, I always set up reverb when before mixing. So like, and this is kind of weird because you know I can't hear all the mixes that go through that will go through the reverb. So, but it's kind of okay for now <laughs> because I have no time to mix today. Yeah, here I loaded R4 as an algorithmic river and preamp is pre tried A by Archuria. I just go through presets and find good sound. Parameters. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Without reverse. With reverse. So I always like to set up these four reverbs short verb, long verb, algorithmic reverb, and played reverb. And you know, it depends on the context, but I always like to send the sound to two of the reverbs. Like, for example, I send this piccato to, well, a short reverb. Of course, this is short sounds. And also algorithmic reverb. It's for extra space. You can also try conversion reverbs instead of algorithmic reverbs. It's totally up to you. Let's get to more work, because I, I, I still have 20 minutes. So let's use Resonate next. This is a collection of percussion, not a synthesizer, but it has pretty cool sounds. This camera is still working. Yeah. Let's try some sound design with Mercury next. Roll another sound pad, soundscapes, tune it by 12 semitones and pitch wobble I want. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you know what's this? What? So baby FX, baby FX different, wow. Then I want conversion reverb. Chaos. There's chaos in you. And tape saturation. I have 10 minutes left. Base tweet tweet iron. Let's use this. Sounds like horror. Let's automate this filter. Like that.
like it. <laughs> That's it. How was the challenge? Let me know what you think in the comments. How do you use synthesizers? Please let me know your tips in the comments and share your tracks in my Discord server. Please watch this video next to learn my secret synth design techniques. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. See you soon. If you can dream it, you can produce it. <laughs> What's this hand? <laughs>